Time is a miraculous thing. It doesn't stop or disappear, and it moves forever forward. Without plan or prejudice, time trudges endlessly on. That is, until someone decided that time should belong to him. Hello everybody, we are playing Reflections of Life, The Sand of Time by Grandma Studios. It's a new beta survey demo guys. Let's check it out, here we go. The Crime Against Time My name is Grace. I'm a member of the Order of Guardians. Our order watches over and ensures the peace of all worlds. But today it seems that peace has been broken. The mirror shook and revealed a stern, powerful man holding a strange artifact. <laughs> that which you have defended will now become your prison. Time will belong to me. <laughs> And there were four frightened girls with him. Dawn. Dusk. Night. Dim. They disappeared. He must have somehow imprisoned them inside the artifact. Day. <laughs> what happened? The artifact splintered and vanished into the portal. I have to help them. Time is short. Let's go. Day is the strongest, guys. She brought back. <laughs> I got here as fast as I could, but it seems I'm too late. So we see the statues here of the four. Will they help me figure out where the scissors are? Maybe they are the scissors, guys. They look exactly like them. And they are missing items. The crown and the pendants. Oops. We broke the ladder, guys. Hey, hello. There's a creature inside the cage. I wonder what that is. Two gear wheels. So we cannot access the bookshelf. On both sides. Can we fix the ladder, guys? Fix the broken ladder? No. At least we can reach that part, guys, without the ladder. <laughs> yeah, our friend is back. The four sisters are celestial beings who came from a time artifact. For thousands of years, they have controlled the movements of the sun and moon. The flow of time is impossible without the sisters. And now I recognize them. They are the actual day, night, dawn and dusk. But where are they now? And who was trying to hurt them? The guy who stole time, guys. But Lady Day here, she fought back and took the artifact from him, and now it is shattered, guys. I don't know what happened to the pieces. Maybe they are zero around here somewhere. Arrange the books to complete the pattern. Select two books to swap them. It's the hourglass. A mirror is an ancient portal that celestial beings have used to travel between worlds of centuries. Oh. Gear wheels. It's 
so there are two symbols at the top here, maybe matching those two, there we go. Hello buddy! The poor animal looks hungry, and the cage looks really dirty guys. <laughs> it is laying on his own droppings. Can we clean the cage? That looks very uncomfortable. The four sisters. Mandolin. A swan. Dawn Day Duskenite. Okay, hold on, what is that about? Hmm. Maybe do connections on them. Link the words. A missing lock part, the wings. And final item, a flower. So what is that piece of paper about then? There are not items on the list. Oh, hold on. A flower. Coronet. So the other two are not missing any items. Or maybe they are. They have hotspots on them too. Grapes. Do you want some snacks? Casey snacks. <laughs> Look at him, guys. A combination of animals here. Uh, the artifact that created Dawn Day in Duskenite has the power to control the flow of time everywhere. Whoever takes possession of it and captures the celestial sisters will become timeless, but its consequences will be felt by all the worlds. So that's the artifact I saw the sorcerer holding in the mirror. Now it is cracked and some parts are missing. The sisters could have been imprisoned in them. Possibly. The shattering of the artifact caused radical changes in the flow of time. The effects were felt by beings from all worlds and all times. The pieces of the artifact must be rejoined to restore time's natural flow. It may already be too late. Time is what the sinister man is after. I must stop him before it's too late. Before the world ends, guys. Dusk Medallion. Lady Dusk. Who is wearing this medallion? The statue. Oh, this is a clue. Does that tell us who is wearing the pendant? Nero is ancient portal. I don't see this anywhere. This dust medallion. Who is dusk? Oh, oh, the hand. They have different body positions here. Face down. Yeah, so all the ops are active now. That is it, hopefully this can help me find a path to the missing sisters. The map was created so ancient celestial beings could be moved between worlds. It allows the sisters to find each other and keep in touch. To activate the map, you need a celestial medallion. Uh, the one that we got here guys, Dusk Medallion. Oh, there are four different ones.
create the constellation of the map that is shown in the bottom left corner. Select two stars to join them. So recreating this shape. So the triangle. So one path from start to finish. Uh, maybe this one? That is not correct, guys. One more time. Ooh, the mirror appears. So this will lead me to where Dusk is now. Lady Dusk. The baby's room is on fire! What happened here? New task. Find Dusk. Okay, how do we put it out? Extinguish a fire, I know. So what are we inside the jar? Inside the vase? No water here. Soil pot, use soil! Oh, a baby! Hurry up and get him out of here! Well, uh, the Momo looks strong enough. Uh, can I roll it? Away! Oh, <laughs> the baby is scared and crying. Need to calm down the baby. Baby slaying. Uh, does that calm the baby, guys? <laughs> you need a pacifier, too. And a bed sheet. Put it in a sleigh. Put the baby in a sleigh. A paw? Missing a paw. Attention! We are under attack by fire breathing monsters. There's no hope for more help, and our defenses are weakening. The city residents are strictly advised to rescue and help as many others as possible. Let the sky protect us all. Something is wrong here. The result of the artifacts splitting into pieces, guys. Pacifier! <laughs> that stops the crying. Put you in a sling. And then swing you around. <laughs> Oh, got a baby here. Wow. In a sheltered place with his relatives. What relatives, guys? <laughs> uh, I am his relative. <laughs> I'm the only person here. Dragon horn. I try to soil now. Oh, on the windowsill only. Not the rest of the room. <laughs> only the windowsill. Belts. Rainbow. Aha. Spins and spins and spins around. Can I turn it into a grappling hook? Wow. So the only way out of here is through the window. Need the elves help? We are going to need our friends' help here. Yeah, to the tower. Ooh. 
Oh, oh yes! <laughs> you saved my life. Whoever you are, I should thank these people for saving me. I can't believe it! A member of the Order of Guardians saved my nephew! Thank you so much! I'll take him and make sure he's taken care of. And you saved my life in return. So I guess we are even then. We'll hide him somewhere safe until his parents are found. We were woefully unprepared for a dragon attack, and I do not doubt their return. They were believed to have died off long ago. But I realize now that we need more than simple swords and spears to repel the next attack. Will you help us? Uh, yes. For sure. Oh, more than one, guys. Uh, unbelievable is dragons. Those tiny shields, guys. <laughs> They look so weak against the dragon breath. We must find a way to help the warriors. Find some bigger shields for them. <laughs> uh, where's the harness? Missing mosaic pieces. So it looks like a picture of the dragon and a knight. There is a crossbow out there, guys. Maybe use a crossbow. Missing bowstring and the arrow itself. My gosh. Did it open another section somehow inside the globe? Handle. Let's head into the armory here, guys. Maybe find something that is actually useful. Bigger shields. <laughs> uh, but I can find all kinds of useful things here. We need bigger shields for those soldiers. Swords and stones. Oh, there's a big one, guys. Right in the thigh. That one is a big shield. A lantern. Why do we need feathers? For the helmet? Feather helmet. Bell clapper. Feather mask. Follow item, my brooch. A dragon on the cover, so maybe there's a clue on how to open this. Uh, a missing piece, guys. Maybe the horn? How to make arrows. <laughs> Making arrow 101. So, a blank arrow plus feathers at the end. Very simple. Three arrows. The 
Did it raise the visor on the helmet? That can be unlocked. Star? The flag belongs here, the banner does. The war banner. Coin? Aha. Uh -huh. I bet you we use a coin. So these are the mosaic pieces. Ooh, symbols and dragons. Are they complete symbols or do I need to pick pairs, guys? They look more complicated than the ones that are shown here in the sky. So we might need to do combos. Or not. We got full symbols here. Surprisingly. And a final symbol. Gems. The green gem. Assemble the image, select two adjacent tiles to swap them. So, when, so again, we are looking at a dragon. A dragon fighting a knight. So, I'm not sure about the angle though. Let's try changing the angle. Maybe that is the correct one. Maybe. Yeah! <laughs> is that the correct angle? Can only rotate side by side. Cannot jump ahead. Which one goes here, guys? Is it the green? Bit of a sky over here, and the wings. Bottom of the wing. This here looks a bit off. Right at this point. Okay, this looks odd. Huh, okay, maybe lower... Lower the... Oh, the hand! The hand holding a sword. Ah, okay, this looks better now. The 
going. Done. <laughs> this is actually pretty complicated. Uh, in the age there was no time only dragons existed, but when time was born, it made light and all deadly bees perished. Not a clue to another puzzle. Dragon feathers? That is for arrows making eyes. Yeah. Uh, bowstring. Match the gems with the correct sword, and then move the sword into the corresponding sections. Select two gems or two swords to swap them. So look at the clue at the bottom, guys. So blue sword with uh, the snake head. Green. The bear on this side. The snake. Fish. And these two are at the correct spot. Perfect. Now we look at the gems. Gem handle. So they should be the same colors. Yeah, done. Arrows. Let's do them over here. Not too shabby, they look pretty professional. Oh, it pierced through the heart! Another area too. I think the dragon will fall nearby. Hopefully the soldiers will be able to take cover. Observation deck. Oh, it is injured. Poor dragon. Uh, now the way back is block is seat actually dead. It's not moving anymore. I think he is gone. Single dragon caused so much chaos. I'm glad that it's no longer a threat. The dragon is no more. Not feel his heartbeat. Missing pendants. A prism. Stardust. Can I use that to revive the dragon, guys? Maybe that's what we need to do. <laughs> revive it. Uh, need to cut the rope. Oh! Is it giving me a color sequence? Purple, red, yellow, green. Ooh, I think I've succeeded in freeing Dusk! We free one of the sisters. Hello. I know who you are, Grace. Thank you for saving me. My name is Dusk, and I'm afraid these monsters may be here because of me. We need to banish the dragons once and for all, but I'll need something to soak up the evening light and regain my strength. If you're able to help, I know I can stop the dragons. So how can I help you? Now Dusk needs help from the stars. How about Stardust? Would that work? 
Uh, feel your scale on the right before feeling your opponent. Select and drag across three or more adjacent matching tokens to remove them. Removing tokens fill the corresponding scale. Okay, my colors are green, brown, and yellow. The owl. So, oh, there's only one bar here. So all three colors combine into one single meter. That makes it so easy, then. And we are done! My sisters and I were captured by a sorcerer obsessed with controlling time. This won't end until we're all freed, and the artifact fragments are returned. This will help you find my sister Dawn. I need to stay and help everyone here before morning. Please find and free my sister. We're counting on you, Grace. The new medallion will help open a portal to the next world. Time is running short. A Dawn medallion. So these are separate keys. Dawn. Create the constellation on the map that is shown in the bottom left corner. Select two stars to join them. Alright, let's begin. At the bottom here. I think that's correct. Is this too much? <laughs> that is kind of big, this triangle here. Unless I can use this one. Oh, maybe. Okay, reset the puzzle. Yeah, maybe we are only looking at this tiny triangle. Oh, oh. That's not the right link. Oops. It's this one here. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. But I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> that doesn't look right. A bit squished together is a bit wider on the clue on the clue picture. Unless is it like this? Uh no. Maybe like this? <laughs> I have to skip the puzzle, I don't know. Don't know how to do this one. Okay, oh no, the game did not show me the right solution. Oh well. Let's go! Hope I can find Dawn in this world. Something must indicate her presence here. It's nice to see another human around here. I could use some help with this darn gate. I'll get in trouble and you won't be able to get through if it's not fixed. I'll need those parts to fix the gate. The man's waiting for me by the gate. Hopefully we can help each other. So the gate leads into... the cathedral? Or just a clock tower, guys? I don't know. So a closer look at the gate. Mechanical gate. Uh, have to find all the parts to help fix the main gate. So that's our uh, exit out of this uh, area. Don't have access to those panels. 
Simo's numbers. Combine this part if I wrap them with something. The shark. Bottle of turpentine. Okay, so we still require uh, the button. Yeah, we need the button first. Ooh, it's a mechanical button. Look at this. The button, access card. Alright, enter the correct code base on the symbols and the corresponding numbers. Press the button after entering the code. Alright, so look at the symbols. So a sequence of four, six, nine, two, and three. Six, nine, two, three. Techno news. Incredible progress. The technologists of our kingdom have had unbelievable success. Soon all inhabitants will be eating purely synthetic food, which is tasteless and odorless. For general safety, rejecting nature is a big step towards advancement. Tasteless, guys. <laughs> uh, gate parts. So there are two different missing parts here. Where do I use the access card? Over here. Oh. We can put these items back. That looks like a straw hat. Or just a Hershey kiss, guys. <laughs> Chocolate Hershey kiss. I can change the panels. Oh, it's a gramophone. A speaker. Cloud face. Bats! <laughs> wow, birds and bats flying together. <laughs> Mechanical hearts.
Yeah, putting that emotional chip back onto the body. Now the bird has feelings. <laughs> okay, pawns. Thanks for your help. I'm actually not too fond of this work. I uh, used to have my own garden, but Queen's men destroyed it and forced me to work with machinery after she outlawed everything natural. I've heard rumors that fresh flowers still exist in the underground greenhouse. Nobody knows where the entrance is, but I'm sure they're hiding something down there. Is that what you're here for? If you find flowers in the greenhouse, would you bring one back for me? I would love to restore some life to my garden. It would mean so much to me. I have to hurry. I hope to see you again soon. Can I pay a visit to your garden? Now, get the Miracle Flower, our next objective. Ooh. You think you can stop me? Mm. Get out of my way if you want to live. A Fireball Blast! You Whoa. little pest! I'm not finished with you yet! Alright, suppose we escape safely, so... <laughs> hmm, the interesting thing is that the wizard can travel in between worlds without using portals or mirrors, guys. So that's one of his power. Anyway, this is the end of Reflections of Life, The Sand of Time, a new beta server demo by Grandma Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see everybody next time. Howdy, signing out. Goodbye, everyone.